When we think about mining in Canada right now, one of the bigger conversations is around critical minerals. But in the Yukon, it's critical minerals and it's gold. We've got some really exciting things that have been happening within our jurisdiction. We think it is going to lead to a very promising economic future for the Yukon. The need for critical minerals is intense. It's, it's growing. It's not a phase that I see stopping anytime soon. I think this is going to be the biggest challenge for the mining sector for the next 10, 20 years of, of certainly my career and probably longer. So Western Copper and Gold is the developer that's pushing forward the Casino Copper Gold project in the Yukon. It's the largest critical metals project in Canada, eventually hopefully the largest critical metals mine in Canada. So it's really a bit of a crunch, honestly, and assets like Casino matter from that perspective in terms of the copper and the molly that it could deliver to market. The attraction to the Yukon was the Kluwani Ultramafic Belt, which is a 600 kilometer long ultramafic system running from BC actually right through the Yukon into Alaska. And we're the largest landholder in that belt and we're happy to be advancing critical mineral supplies at a time when Canada, the US in particular, are focused on friendshoring exactly these minerals. A lot of work to be done, a lot of potential and, and a government and a people that really seem to want to work with miners.